Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you tonight? I hope you guys are okay. We're going to continue with these um, informal and formal requests. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you doing tonight? Are you guys okay? Yes. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, let's start the class then. Thank you everybody for being so punctual and for joining on time. So right now we are going to do just a little um, exercise as a manner of feedback, okay? I will give you the link and you are going to match if it is a request or if it is an offering, okay? Remember, would, could, and now we are going to add can to the picture, okay? So let's uh, let's start by doing this, okay? You are going to check if it is an offering or if it is a request, all right? Here we go. I will send the link through the WhatsApp chat. This is as a manner to start, okay? And as a manner of review. Okay, click on the link and we are going to see if it is a request or if it is an offering, okay? Hello, good evening. Hi. Oh, okay, Sergio. Well, I sent a link and you have to write over there or just there drop down menus and you're going to check to choose the correct option. If it is an offering or if it is a request. Okay. How's it going, people? Did you get there yet? Are you there yet? Ya están ahí? Are you there yet? Yes, teacher. Okay. So it says that you have to watch a video. We're not going we're not going to watch the video because we know now the theory okay we know the theory so we can just answer with the knowledge that we have at this moment okay so it says which of these are requests and which of these are offers which of these are requests and which of these are offers how's it going Easy.
Okay. The first one says, what can I do for you? Is that an offering or is that a request? It's offer. Okay, I would like to order a taxi. Request. Okay, could you do me a favor? Offer. Request. This is a request, yeah, because it's an offer when you say, could I help you, right? Could I uh, do you a favor? Yeah, so could I will be an offering. How can I help you? Offer. Mm -hmm. I would like you to give this present to my grandfather. Quiz. Okay, how we do that? Offer. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to call a taxi? Offer. Mm -hmm. What about the next part? A ver, Flor, which order did you follow? What is the order? Um, no, 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 I entiendo. The in the second teacher. part, in the second part, you have to order. Which one goes first? What goes next? First is, can you do me a favor? Of course. I would like you to help me with the dinner. Okay, I will help you. There you are. Nice. Very good, Diana. Okay, now Flor. Hmm. Um. No, 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 I'm sorry? <coughs> Offer or... Ah, todavía, todavía está en la primera. Ah, ok. ¿Cuándo todavía es? Está en la, es que yo ya estaba en la segunda parte. Ok. No, yo no sé. Va, entonces sí, termine, que no termine es que esa la... parte. La explicación. Eh, la explicación es desde ayer. Ahorita solo sí. estamos haciendo un feedback como poniendo en práctica lo que aprendimos ayer, Flor. ¿Ok? okay. Requests and offerings. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes. Uh Yolanda, how's it going? Did you finish? Los que ya lo terminaron lo pueden enviar por favor al WhatsApp. Please send it to the WhatsApp chat. Teacher? Mm -hmm. Did you finish, Yolanda? The homework. I sent a link. Envié un, envié un link para que trabajáramos en él ahorita. En el WhatsApp y aquí en el Zoom. Ah, es que entré unos minutos tarde, como, como cinco creo, teacher, por eso. Ok, vaya ahí al WhatsApp y haga clic en el link. Aquí está. No, pero aquí no está en compartir con todos, no está. Mm. Ahí ya lo envió Vanessa, ¿ve? ¿eh? Ya lo envió también María Fernanda, lo envió Dayana. Thank you. Uh -huh. Tell me, Yolanda. 
¿No lo puede mandar aquí al chat de, de la reunión? ¿Cómo no? Okay, people, we are going to change the activity now because of the time, okay? This was just as a manner of feedback. Esto era solo a manera de un feedback, ¿verdad? Para que revisáramos y recordáramos un poquito vocabulario de would you, could you. Y ahora vamos a introducir la clase que toca el día de hoy. Today we are going to start a new topic, even though it's the continuation, okay, of the requests, okay? And we want to study We want to study <clears throat> How to use can, okay? How to use can for informal requests. This is your class number 19, people. We are about to finish the uni, I mean, the module two, and you are going to pass to the module three. So congratulations, people, we are about to finish. On Monday is the last class. Remember that you have to be present, okay? So today we are going to study how to use can for informal requests. Can for informal requests, okay? ¿Cuál es el tema de hoy, jóvenes? How to use can for, for informal how requests. Exactly. Informal requests. So what is the class objective? Participants will be able to express common touch, support problems, and how the problem them by phone. Participants will be able to make an statement for informal requests. All right. Thank you very much, Diana. All right. Here we have some uh, offerings and requests, but with could okay with could now i just want to explain could is the past tense of can okay can can is in the present tense and could is the past tense of can but to request something to offer something, we use could in a very polite way or the formal way. And we use can for informal requests. Informal, in this case, we can compare it with casual, okay? Casual, not the street language. This is not street language. This is formal language, polite language, but these are more casual. 
It's for a more close relationship, for a more close relationship, okay? I can ask my boss for something using could, but a friend, I can request something using can, okay? So this is why we call could formal requests, it can informal requests, okay? So, could you please close the window? Could you please write a report? Could you please get me a cup of coffee? Could you please tell me what I am doing wrong? Could you please come soon and fix the problem? Could I get you something? Could I get you some advice? Could I give you some advice? Could I ask you some questions? Could I take a message? Okay, I want you to read, guys. So, let's start. Vanessa, ah, you are you are working. Okay, Diana, please. One, two, and three, please. Could you please close the window? Could you please write the report? Could you please get me a cup of coffee? A cup, cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. A cup of coffee. Okay, Adriana, continue. Next three. Um, could you please tell me what I am doing grow? Sigo. Yes, three, please. Until here. Um, Until could this you, Could you please come soon and fix the problem? Come soon. Come, come soon. soon. Come soon and fix the problem. Could, could I get you something? Okay. Continue, please, Flor. Could you, could I give you some advice? Could, could I ask you some question? Could I take a med? Message. Exactly. Bien, nos fijamos entonces que aquí es could you, ¿verdad? Could you. Esos son requests. Y aquí, ¿cómo mm. dice? Could I, ¿verdad? Could I. Esos son offerings, ¿ok? Mm. Could I offer. Could you request, ¿ok? Uh, Are we okay, people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here we have the offerings and here we have the requests. And these are really formal, okay? These are really formal. In an ambience of a workplace, for example, maybe in different places like church, okay? Like the school, like university, you are going to use this language with your um, uh, your next uh, or your closest authority, okay? So you are going to use this language to express yourself when you want something or when you are offering to do something or offering an object, right? To help, yeah? Bien, divirtámonos un poquito entonces, ¿sí? Divertámonos un poquito entonces. A tongue twister, everybody. Ahora vamos a estudiar quién. ¿sí? La pronunciación en nuestro lado de el charco, this side of the pond, este, es quién, así, quién. Y tenemos el negativo que es quién también. Y se oye casi igual, así que tienen que ponerle coco. En este trabalengua solo tenemos el afirmativo, ¿sí? Voy a poner el audio y ustedes lo practican, ¿ok? You practice. Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? 
Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? I don't see you practice. Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can you can a can as a can or can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can a can? Can you can a Again, listen. Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Imitate. Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Got it? Did you practice? Again. Can you can you can or can can a can? A can 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 a can can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can a can? Okay, no todos estos can suenan igual. Okay. No todos estos suenan igual. ¿Ok? Es, can you can a can as a canner can can a can? ¿Ok? Vamos a ver otra vez. Listen to the audio and practice. Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? All right, who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? Adriana? Yes, Adriana, come on, Adriana, you can do it. You can do it. Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Okay, no todos son can. Okay, no todos son can. Vaya, can es esto, miren, envasar. Una lata también es can. Okay, can, can, así, miren, can. Y este, que es el que nosotros pronunciamos, el que, perdón, el que usamos para las, for, las requests, para las preguntas, sería can. Así, mire, can you can a can as a canner, can can a can, ¿ok? Hay que darle la pronunciación correcta, vamos. Hoy escuchemos, escuchemos y practiquemos, ¿sí? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can right. you can a can as a can or can can a can? There you go. Okay, who wants to come? A ver, abran todos sus micrófonos, vamos. Like the central market. Can you can a can? 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 Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Everybody. Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Okay, I heard Maria Fernanda. Very good pronunciation. Again, again, everybody, again. Can you can a can as can a can a can? Can you can a can as a can a can a can? 
Kang, Kang, Kang. Okay, vamos. Three times in a row. Okay, vamos a ver. Three times in a row. Diana, Diana, three times in a row. Not okay. stop. Three times. Can you can no? Can you can a can as a can 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 a can? Can you can can a can? As a canner can can a can. Can you can a can as a canner can a can a can? Okay, thank you. Very good. Now, Yolanda, please, three times in a row. Miss Yolanda, three times in a row. Sí, teacher. Three times in a row. Okay. Can you, can a can, as a can, can, can a can? Can you, can a can, as a can, can a can? Oh my God. Yeah, she's having some trouble. All right, no problem. Let's continue, guys. Vanessa, hey, thank God you're home now. Very good. So three times in a row. Three times in a row. Okay. Can you come? I come. As a color, come. Can I come? Can you come? I come. As I color, come. Can I come? Can you come? I come as I can. Come, can I come? Okay, three times. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, Kimberly, come on. Three times in a row, Kimberly. Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you a can you can a can has a can or can can a can? Can you can a can a has a can or can can a can? Yeah, very good, very good. Uh huh. Flor, it's your turn. Three times in a row. Can you can can a can as a can or can 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 a can? Can you can a can? Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Very good. Thank you very much. Now, <clears throat> Sergio David, three times in a row. Can you can a can as a can 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 a can? Can you can a can as a can 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 a can? Can you can a can as a can 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 a can? Okay, more or less. There you go. There you go. Okay, these are cans. Okay, these are cans. Aunque ustedes lo miren como un bote de vidrio, también eso es envasar. Okay, these are jars okay these are jars too but can can es envasar okay can es envasar y <clears throat> un canner es un envasador verdad entonces eso es como puedes tú envasar un envase como un envasador envasa un envase okay eso es lo que están diciendo okay bien vamos a seguir entonces Espero que se hayan divertido un ratito. Vamos a hacer una lectura, ¿ok? We're going to do a reading. We are having a reading activity. This is about printers. What are the characteristics that you look for when you want to buy a printer? If you want to buy a printer, for example, in your job, what kind of printer do they buy? What kind of printers do they buy? Let's look at the characteristics that people look, okay? 
that people look for when they are buying or acquiring a printers, okay? So let's listen. Call. Color is the most important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink, that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution Printer resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper, is usually measured in dots per inch DPI. Most expensive printers provide sufficient resolution mm -hmm. for most purposes at 600 DPI. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about 3 to 6 sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory, for example 1 megabyte, that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when putting out pages with large images or table with lines around them. Which the printer treats as large as image. All right, here we are. What characteristics did you listen? In my job, we have a printer uh, for resolution. Ah, because of the resolution. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. So is that expensive? Is it an expensive printer? Yes. I think uh, maybe a 8,000. Oh my goodness. So is this for advertisement? Repeat, please. Is this for advertisement? Advertisement? Publicidad? No, 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 no. But we... What do you print out? What well, kind of documents? Forums about the publicity. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a uh, 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 flyers. Um, yeah, yeah, flyers. Mm, okay, flyers, brochures, invitations. Yeah. It's more. It's more like a flyer. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Resolution, but also you print in a big or large amount or just one and then you make copies with a photocopier? No, it's a... Um, with no... Copy? No. Uh, no copies, I, okay. No mm -hmm. copies. They are all original. Yes. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. So you need resolution because you use color. Do you use color or just black and white? We use color, full color. Okay, full color. Great. Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you very much for sharing that. And um, what about in your job, Sergio? What characteristics? Though, uh, of those that you listen to in this uh, audio, uh, does your company look for? Mr. Checo. 
Sergio. Okay, then let's continue with Wendy Sophia. What kind of printers do you have in your company? What characteristics are more important for the work in your company? Our printer scales are also be set up to print on a little black. Mm -hmm. Miss Wendy Sophia? This is. Um, the color in print. Okay, the color. All right, good. What about in your job, uh, Vanessa? Repeat. <laughs> the printers, the printers that you use in your company, what characteristics of these ones do they have? What color. are they? Oh, the okay. Color. You use color printers, okay. Mm -hmm. And do you care about the resolution? Is it important, the resolution? Or hmm? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes, it is important. Yes, it is. All right, and Yolanda, what kind of printers do you use in your job? Do you have printers in your job? Yes, yes, it is. Uh... Color is, is um, important. Black. Ah, so you use no. black and white? Uh, uh, uh -huh. See, two, 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 two printer, um, different, uh, como le puedo decir para diferentes impresiones. Okay, two different printers. You have two, two different, different printers. printers. Mm -hmm. Sí. Oh, all right. Sí. So you have for documents and you have for other kind of documents for maybe sí. flyers sí. and all things. All right. Very good. Very good. So now, one second, allow me. I lost it. Okay, then we are going to listen to this again. All right. Vamos a escuchar nuevamente y vamos a ir leyendo. Why is it important, the color? ¿Por qué es importante? El color para algunos usuarios, for some users. Why is important the resolution? ¿Para qué usuarios o cuál, cuál usuario preferiría eso? Speed, la velocidad, speed. ¿Qué usuario usaría eso? Okay. Why do they choose? ¿Por qué escogen un impresor que sea rápido? Speed. Okay. And memory, memory. Uh, what about the memory? Okay, please pay attention and read. Color. Color is the most important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution Printer resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper, is usually measured in dots per inch DPI. Most expensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 dpi. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about 3 to 6 sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. 
More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory, for example, one megabyte, that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when putting out pages with large images or table with lines around them, which the printer treats as large as image. Okay. So now let's read color. Color, please, Wendy, Sophia, you read color. Yolanda, please read resolution. And Flor de Maria reads speed. And Maria Fernanda reads memory. Okay? There we go. I'm sorry. I always lose it. Start, please. Okay. Teacher, resolution. Yes. It's going to start Wendy Sophia. Oh, después. Yes, Yolanda. Miss Wendy, we can't hear you. I'm sorry. Color is important for you should too new to the printer space for presentations of maps um, of their page where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only, only black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operative seeing the use to ink cathodines. One color and black, one color and black ink that need to replace after certain number of base. Usher who don't have a specific new for color and will print a lot of paste will thin a black and white printer shear to upper okay thank you very much there are some things that we are going to check at, at the end okay so yolanda please continue okay teacher resolution Printing her resolution, the shapes of text and images of paper is usually mostly read in dots per each uh, DPE. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient, sufficient resolution for most uh, purposes at uh, 600. DPI. 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 Ah, porque la I siempre va a sonar como I, ¿verdad? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, please continue. Speed. Uh, if you do much printer, the speed of the printer uh, becomes important in inexpensive printer print only about Three to six sheet for menu. Color printing is lower, more expensive. Printer are much faster. Okay, thank you. Continue please with memory. Memory. Most yes. printer come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be spent by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out page with large images for table with the lines around them, which the printer treats as large images. Okay, as a large image. All right, so here we are. We are going to go to the breakout rooms and we are going to answer some questions, okay? 
in your manuals, go to page number 44. Okay, there you have some questions. Here, I'm going to send it through the WhatsApp chat and, okay, and over here in the Zoom chat. Okay, before going to the to the breakout rooms, is there any question so far about the vocabulary over here in the reading? Any question? Um, I'm sorry, was what, what, I'm sorry. Was that a question? The meaning of amount? Amount. Yes. Amount is quantity, okay? Cantidad, amount. All right? Thank you. Okay. Any other question? Teacher, yo eh, cuando leí, o sea, como imagen, no sé si se dice imagen. Image. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Yes. yes, image. Ok. These are ink cartridges. Ink cartridges. One cartridge, two cartridges. Ok. One cartridge, two cartridges. All right. Any other question? No questions? Okay, then. Allow me just to call the roll before leaving. All right, before going to the breakout rooms. Please turn your camera on, and when I call your name, please say present. Adriana Lisette Chavez Lopez. Present. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez Arevalo. Present. Flor de Maria Valladares de Torres. Present, teacher. Francisco Javier Quinteros Echeverria. Gerson Osvaldo Dera Santana. Present, teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo de Sura. Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Karen Gemina Membreño. Present. Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos. Present. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda Díaz. Present. María Fernanda Morán Rivas. Present. Merari Andrea Sánchez Facundo. Present. Salomón Heriberto Rivera Chacón. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Girón. Present. Walter Amilcar Ramírez Molina. Wendy Sofía Orellana Calderón. Present coach. Wendy Janet Baires Rojas. Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. Present. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, people, let's go to the breakout rooms and practice the reading and then you answer the questions. Okay, practice the reading and then answer the questions. Okay, let's just zoom mask.
Do not translate. Teacher, teacher, va a compartirlo aquí en el, en el chat de, la, de Zoom. There it is. Okay. Hola, 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 hola. Hello, Sergio. Teacher. Uh -huh. Estoy teniendo problemas que como con este teléfono me conecto, que es raro que me conecte. Igual con los audífonos también. Ahorita he conectado otros audífonos. Ah, ok. Ahorita vamos a los breakout rooms, Sergio. Okay. Vamos a ir a hacer la lectura, a practicar la lectura y vamos a eh, contestar las preguntas. Ok. Important for uh, who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Color uh, printer can al uh, also be said to print only in the. Hello, Carmen. Hello, Flor. Hello. We are in the breakup rooms right now. A ver. Creo que, ah, se desconectó. Okay, I got disconnected. Se me desconecta, teacher. Okay, you have, what, what do you have to say? I got disconnected, teacher. Flor? I, I got, got, got disconnected. disconnected. Okay, I, I will assign you to a group. Okay, la voy a enviar a un grupo. I will assign you to a group. Okay, thank you. There you are. Room three. Miss Karen, Mr. Walter, please join your rooms. Yo no tengo el, el, el párrafo. <laughs> Flor de María lo va a contestar, ¿va? What does, what does DPI start for? Um, veamos el
Hello, did you finish? No, no teacher. Practice the reading and answer the questions. Si gusta le usted Jenny la primera, la color. O Sergio si gusta. Okay. Eh, the first question, ¿verdad? No, no he terminado, pero para que practiquemos lo de la pronunciación. Ah, uh, why is color, why is color important for some users, for some users? Eh, lo que menciona ahí, lo que decía este, la compañera. Sergio, you have to practice the reading. Juan Carlos le dice de que vaya y lea la parte donde dice color. Ok, color. Practice the reading. The color. Sí. Ok. Color is important for users who need to print page for presentation. Hacerlo. Mm, puede hacer, ¿verdad? Ajá, porque donde está la resolución dice este resolution. printer Ajá, la, la res, ya me, bueno. Printer Resolution Page Sharpness of the. Bueno, pero la cosa es que hasta donde dice el punto de DPI. Uh -huh. Entonces Aquí sería así. Is usually measured in dots per inch. Y está entre paréntesis de PI, entonces es puntos por pulgada. Ajá. DPI, that's Pero per inch. inch. ¿Eso significa teacher o no? Sí, donde dice todo per inch, así como dijo ella. Pero yo lo digo más feo, pero ahí voy. Dot per inch. Ajá. Ah, uh -huh. pero en español sería eso. <laughs> sí. <laughs> ah, ok. No, vaya. Ahí eh, vamos con la tres. Um. Solo lo que está así como en la línea. Es que, es, que es... es que yo, bueno, quiero ver. Yo, bueno, dice que según lo que yo pregunté, que amo, es como, bueno, y dije que era como cantidad. Yo creo que entre más costosa provee más cantidad a la hora de impresión. Algo así. No, the memory. The memory is the storage. Okay, that maybe you can have more in the row. Okay, pueden tener más de, de resolución. Eh, no, más documentos en cola, por ejemplo, eh, cuestiones de configuración. Yeah. No, sorry, eh, nosotros estamos en resolución. Ah, okay, amount of memory. Sabemos que es DPI. Okay, DPI, ya. Yeah. There, there it says. Ahí dice. Esa no la voy a decir hasta que la encuentren ahí. Ahí está. DPI. <laughs> okay. 
Mm. Read it again. And those yes, were each 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 for each. Each. yes, you see, you are very clever, girls. Yeah, that's but it. That's what is the meaning? That <laughs> do you remember when you say that come? Wonderful. Hey, yay, but don't say it in the Spanish. That's it. That's <laughs> for inch is medida or centimeters, no verdad. It's 2.5 centimeters. Uh, centimeters. Como interlineado. Nope. Centimeters. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Ay, <yeah>, uh, <laughs> Okay, this, this. Pulgada. Yeah, but don't say it in Spanish, not Spanish. Yeah, uh, we were doing okay without the Spanish, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's per inch. That's per inch. Cuando le di así como le di, pero que se me corrió, pero entonces eso sería. Stand for. Entonces, bueno. Digo que español no, pero no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Entonces la respuesta sería dots per inch. This is Stanford University of Central America. Stanford University. I okay. think. <laughs> <laughs> Stand for dots per inch. Pero el, el, el ah, como la Yes. I feel that we have to say it's a very good teacher. Yes, what teacher? Abre, 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 no sé por qué que sí. Como cuando acortas una palabra, abre, abreviation. Ah, uh, es como por ejemplo, en, en, en la pregunta. Instituto de Salvador de Seguro Social. Ajá, hay una pregunta, entonces está preguntando, valga la redundancia, ¿cuál es el significado de DPI? La verdad, uh, ajá. Entonces sí sería dots per inch. Dots per inch, lo que está en paréntesis de DPI. Ay, uy. Sorry. Teacher, sorry. <laughs> eh, sería. Yes, if you understand, you don't need to say that in Spanish, okay? If you understand, imagine with the examples. UCA stands for Universidad Centroamericana. East stands for Instituto Salvadoreño del Seguro Social. So those are acronyms, okay? Acronyms. This is what I wrote over there, right? DPI is the acronym of the per inch. Acronym is just the initial letter of each word, okay? The initial letter of each word. And abbreviation is short, short. 
Totally different. Okay. The answer will be the abbreviation. The answer is a dots per inch. Yes. The... Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Merari, your turn, speed. Merari, hello, Merari. Next question. Hello, teacher. Read. Okay, venía camino a casa. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, people, continue. Okay, um, speed. If you the much Hello Floor, I sent you to another group. There you are. Okay, and the group of Herson, Carla, Kimberly, and Vanessa. Number one, why did you write? What is your answer? Number one. Mm -hmm. Este, nosotros pusimos eh, que color is important for uses we need to print page for presentation or map and other page where color is part of the information. Correct, that's true. And number two, uh, 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 room three, Adriana, Flor, Walter, Wendy, and Yolanda. Number two. Mm -hmm. um, eh, ¿Qué pasó? El favor virtual aún se está cargando. Ay, perdón, estaba en mute. Mm -hmm. The printers probably 
Rodis sufficient resolution for most. And number two, what does DPI stand for? That's per inch. Mm -hmm. Correct. And it says that over here. It says dots per inch. Okay. Look. Dots per inch. DPI. Mm -hmm. Easy, right? Now, number three. The group of Juan Carlos, Sergio, and Jenny. Number three. Mm -hmm. They use two in cartridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you are. Yes, Juan Carlos. Very good job. And number four, the group of Diana, eh, Maria Fernanda, and Merari. Words is memory. Memory? Yes. They respect of the computer become important. No. Yes, Vanessa, that's correct. It's the speed, okay? Speed mm -hmm. becomes important for the users who prints a lot to do much printing. Look, so we say that speed is, right? Okay, again, the, the group of Diana. What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? The most important is speed. Mm, number five? One. A small amount of memory. Mm -hmm. But what is the amount? Most printer come with a small amount of memory. One megabyte. Oh, for example, one megabyte. Mm -hmm. One megabyte. Yeah. There you are. Okay, these were the, uh, the answers exactly from the reading, guys. Exactly from the reading. Okay. So here you have. Okay, what is the process that you have in your companies when something gets ruined or get broken? When something bro breaks in your company, what is the process for you to replace it or to repair it or to buy a new one? Uh, what is the process that you follow? Cuando algo se arruina en su compañía, se quiebra, se rompe, lo que sea, se desconfigura, se le cae un virus, etc. No sirve. What is the process? ¿Cuál es el proceso? What is the process? to replace it, to repair it, to reboot it, to renew it. 
What is the process? Do you follow a process? And repair or change it. Okay, but what do you do? Who do you report to? Mm -hmm. Do you feel any a uh, requisition? Any form? Llenan formularios, requisiciones, form formularios, formatos. What do you do to replace or to repair something hey, that oh. breaks? Excuse me, Maria Fernanda. Uh, call the company. Ah, okay. You call the company that provides that service. Um, yes. Okay. For example, can you give me an example? If something breaks, if something breaks, si algo se quiebra, if something breaks, si algo se arruina, uh, report that the product is... You call. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, you and you say... Call the company, the report that the product is... No sé cómo se dice, arruinado. Broken. Broken. Mm -hmm. Okay, that the product is broken. All right, let's look at this conversation. Okay, Maria Ochoa is calling because her computer has a problem, all right? So she's calling to the IT department to report a problem and to require some solution, okay? She is looking for some solution. So Mike and Maria are talking by the phone. Mario doesn't exist here, okay? Here is not Mario. Este señor se metió en la plática, no le dan caso, okay? Vamos a ver. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. Computer, right? I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new comp computer in no time. Okay, so here we are. We are going to see that they have a process. Okay, they have a process, which is the process to file a complaint. Okay, file a complaint. ¿Qué es file a complaint? Hacer un reporte, hacer una queja. Okay. Llenar un formulario de queja o de reporte. Okay. That's file a complaint. ¿Qué es file a complaint? What is it? Hacer un reporte. Uh -huh. O oh, una queja. Exactly. To present a complaint. Exactly. Complaint es queja o reporte. Okay. Complaint es queja o re reporte. So let's listen, uh, well, take 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 seconds, take 30 seconds to read the conversation and then let me know if you have questions. Any question? No. No, Jared. No questions. 
Okay then, let's listen to Miss Yolanda and Miss Merari. Okay? Okay, teacher. There you are. You may start, Yolanda. Okay. Thank you for the calling the IT, the IT department. Hello, my name is Merari Sanchez and Ned to feel a complaint about my work terminal computer. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on the today. Let me send someone with a completing from we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Now we are going again to the breakout rooms, all right? And we are going to uh, answer these questions, but also we are going to work in these diagrams, okay? We are going to write two problems with printer and three problems, right, with another device. You decide which device, okay? Ustedes deciden si aquí en una computadora, lo que le vayan a poner acá, ponen los tres probables problemas que pueden suceder o de los problemas que ustedes se les presentan con ese device. Y aquí completar estos dos problemas con printers, okay? Vamos a practice the conversation, answer the questions, and work in this diagram, okay? Are we okay so far? No, 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 capture. Teacher, ¿y eso en dónde lo vamos a hacer? En la pista. No. No. Room. In the breakout rooms, yeah. Okay. En de la plataforma. Uh, I didn't. I didn't open uh, any any post in the discussion label. It sounds great if you send it, but it's okay. Okay. Let me just see if I can access. Uh, I, I can open the thing in this moment. Okay. I will send through the chat now. The. Uh, Oops, again, the same thing. Here it is. Okay, now it is open. Okay, I opened it. Vaya, miren, entonces así. Yolanda tuvo una excelente idea y lo vamos a hacer así, okay? Ahorita ya Ay. está abierto aquí. Se van en la sesión 19, video conference number 19. And then you open the breakout room activity. Y acá, miren. Acá donde está este cuadrito de imagen, aquí van a subir la imagen ya hecha si lo hacen en la imagen. Y si no, <coughs> y si no, aquí lo pueden ir escribiendo, ¿ok? Lo que van a escribir. Bless you, teacher. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ok. <coughs> so, here we go.
lo hacen individualmente, pero todo lo van a comentar, ¿verdad? O sea, lo van a escribir individualmente, pero todos van a comentar y a la misma respuesta casi van a tener todos, ¿no? There you are. ¿Le pasó algo, Flor? Sí, no sé por qué me da problemas el teléfono. Últimamente me está dando un problema. Cada vez que me manda a unir, me saca. Ha de ser, quizás no lo ha actualizado la aplicación de Zoom usted. No solo le ha dado le update. Doy... No, yo solo le doy al link. Ah, ok. Sí, tiene que actualizar el Zoom. Viera que el Zoom, si uno no lo actualiza periódicamente, le da esos problemas así como le está pasando a usted. Entonces, durante el fin de semana haga eso, de actualizarlo. Oye. Ah, ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Dele update. Please, everybody, join your rooms. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Karen, are you there? Ah, as a listener. Wendy, Wendy Vides, are you there? Miss Wendy? Yes, sir. Okay, aquí ha quedado Flor de María. ¿Sí? Aquí puede trabajar con ella. Ok. All right. Vaya, Flor, ya le conseguimos aquí, compañera. Vaya, vamos. <risa> ok, teacher. There you are. Ok. María. Ok. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is María Ochoa. And I need fill I complain complaint about my work terminal computer. I am sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me I'm say sorry. Something. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop over there. Mirari, ahí dice it was very slow. Si usted dice I was very slow, es que usted estaba lenta, no la computadora. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. There you are. Okay. It was. Repeat. It's what tour on today. Repitas otra vez lo, lo que leíste. Uh, it's what very slow yesterday and it's turned turn on today. Let me send some someone with a complaint for we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. I'm not. ¿Dónde está eso? Es la segunda que dice María. Maria. It was very it was slow very yesterday slow. and it didn't turn on today. <coughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Ayer iba muy lento y hoy no encendía. Uh -huh. 
Algo así dice, ¿verdad? No Spanish. Ah. Yeah. Ay, no, ya vio que le estoy dando copia. Ajá, vaya, pero usted cómo, cómo le escribió, porque yo solo le puse tiene poca tinta, has little no, ink. No, con poca tinta, con poca tinta, porque es que no hay oh, cómo se traduce así oh, que, bajo, que se bajo nivel de church, tinta. Pues. Uh -huh. Sí, es verdad. Siempre te tira cuando está uh -huh. Ajá, o English, también esa otra así con go, bajo. Go to look it up in your notes. Go to your notes. There we have that. Yo ya les dije, bicho, pero ustedes no me hacen caso. Ya ven, háganle caso a Vanessa, pues, va. Eso. <ríe> Entonces, de ahí, de ahí, este, ahí complete the tree, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Tree problem. Sí. With, the, with the printer. Eh, so, computer. Computer, ajá. Y eso. Y eso. Next, next computer, va. Este... Ahí. A ver. En el cuadro. Vale, yo pienso que la primera sería así como not so on. No sé si Problemas con el internet. Yo ¿Hola? Ya no enciendo. Yo mm -hmm. creo que también. Not Entonces sería igual que eh, eh, prácticamente igual que en printer. The eh, first, ajá. It, it doesn't turn on. Uh -huh. Y eso ya sería para computer, bro. Sí, sí. Ajá, sí. Eso sería computer. para computer. Y sí, es bastante yes. problema esto que a veces no. It doesn't. Computer does, does center on um, la kitchen. Ya la puse en uh -huh. Y my computer, my computer freeze. No sé si puede ser de next. Yes. My yes. computer me, freeze. Me traba lo mismo ahora. My computer freeze. Sí, me quedé de lado okay. con Frozen. <risa> <risa> bueno, entonces my computer. My computer freeze. 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 Sí. Freezes o algo así, freezes. Freezes. O freeze. No, frozen freezes. screen. Freezes. Frozen screen. Frozen Ajá. Screen. Que la que eh, queda como captura así. Congelada. Y the next. Este. Next sería. Um, ¿Qué problemas tengo yo con? No sé ustedes, este... Solo cuando se va el sistema. Se me va el internet. Pero el internet no tiene... Ajá, el internet no tiene... Sistema. Sistema. Error de conexión. ¿Cuál pusieron, dice? System down. Er, uh, le de error de conexión. Error. Er, uh -huh. Connection. Uh -huh. También new word error. Error de red. Sí, sí uh -huh. verdad. Como ahí, bueno, ahí pueden haber. Newport error. Network, network connection. Yo no, yo le he hecho mi cuadernito ahorita.
work ¿Cómo? Y es The keyboard does not work. It doesn't up with keyboard. keyboard. The keyboard. The keyboard it, does not work. It's not work. It work keep, or working? Work. Work. Works. Okay. El otro era el internet. No funciona, dijimos, pero... No, ¿cómo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turn it down. Turn it. This bird is low. Internet. This bird is slow. Wireless no, connection. No internet connection. Ahí es. Ahí no dio la teacher. Saben <laughs> <laughs> network error. Ah, entonces también podemos poner que uh -huh. it's very slow. The internet is very slow. Y en discusión está donde dice todas las discusiones, ahí está. problem with the computer. Entonces, esa de que no encendió, ¿dónde está? Turn on today. Ajá, está en la. Ajá, en la. Turn on today. Y de último sería, we can send a, a new computer, ¿va? No, es antes, ¿va? With a complaint form. Sería, ahí escribió la teacher, it, ajá. it doesn't turn on. Ajá, esa ajá, sería es la, la ajá. Ah, sí. oh, es que la segunda, um, es, yo me parece que decía que... Um, slow. Es sí, que está. Ajá. Día de ayer. Slow. Es very. Slow. Very slow yesterday. Very ajá. slow. Ajá. O sea que está muy lenta y que no le encendió este día. Ajá. Este día o ahora. Slow, le vamos a poner. Es very slow. No. Um, this, uh, uh
Okay, class, you send your replies on the platform later. Okay, and we are going to continue with the topic about the complaints and how to request for information and how um, we make informal requests. How do we request politely but in an informal way? So, for example, when you need to file a complaint, when you need to file a complaint and uh, you are assisting a client or a user or a co-worker filing the complaint, it's a form like this, right? It has the personal information or the work professional information of the requester or the person who is requesting for the assistance, okay? So, for example, the first question we can ask, okay? We need the name of the person, right? So I can ask, can I have your name, please? Okay, can I have your name, please? So I will write this. Normalmente, cuando nosotros llenamos un formulario por alguien o para alguien, ya sea por teléfono, ¿verdad? Estamos atendiendo a un cliente o a un compañero de trabajo y estamos llenando el formulario que corresponde. Le decimos, ¿me da su nombre, por favor? ¿Sí? ¿Cuál es su nombre? Lo hacemos de manera amable. So, in English, it's the same. No le vamos a decir, what's your name? Porque es muy directo. Entonces, dentro de nuestro ambiente laboral debe de haber armonía. Harmony. Entonces, le podemos preguntar, can I have your name, please? Ok, y si quiero saber el teléfono, el número de teléfono, ¿cómo se lo preguntaríamos? A ver. Your number, cell phone, please. Can you give me your phone number, please? And these days we don't usually uh, request for the landline, right? The home phone number. We usually don't request that because everybody has a, a mobile phone. And also landline is almost, well, it's about to disappear. Okay. It's about to disappear. So land lines, mm -mm. we don't ask for landlines. Okay. Landline es un teléfono fijo, ¿sí? Entonces, no preguntamos por el phone number, solo así phone number, le podemos preguntar por el contact phone number, ¿ok? Can you give me your contact phone number, please? El número en que me contesta, eso significa contact phone number. What about the address? How do you ask for the address? Okay, can you tell me what your address is? Okay, de una manera indirecta, ¿verdad? De una manera amable. Esto es una eh, solicitud informal, casual, digamos, casual. Entonces, ahí usted le empieza a preguntar los datos de su dirección. ¿Y cómo le pido el email address? A ver, necesito que por favor todos ahorita acá, attention. Uh -huh. How can I request for the address? Can you hear me? Uh -huh. Your email address? Very good, Sergio. Yes. Can you give me your email address? Yeah. There you are. Okay. And the answer is not, yes, I can. Si a usted le preguntan, por ejemplo, can I have your name, please? No le va a decir, yes, I can. No. La respuesta es exactamente lo que le están pidiendo, su nombre. Okay. For example, I will say, can I have your name, please? Okay. Gerson Osvaldo. Yeah. Deras Santa. Okay. So me, my answer is my piece of information they are requesting for. 
All right. So uh, if you want to request for what is the problem, okay, what is the problem? ¿Cómo lo decimos eso? A ver, preguntémosle a alguien cuál es el problema. A ver, recordemos el vocabulario de las primeras clases de esta unidad. Uh -huh. Okay. También le podría preguntar, can you describe the problem? Okay. Pero esta es la que hemos aprendido hasta ahorita. Miren, what seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? Hemos aprendido la otra que es, what is the problem? Pero son bastante directas, ¿verdad? Son bastante directas. Entonces le podemos preguntar, can you describe the problem? Can you describe the problem? All right. Y entre los problemas tenemos este vocabulario que podemos usar. Possible actions to solve common problems at the workplace. For example, if I say that my equipment, equipment is broken, okay, I could say something like this, okay? My computer and all the equipment is broken, okay? Broken. Esa es la palabra que aprendimos hoy al inicio de la clase. Is broken. Uh -huh. Y usted puede decir desde cuándo, ¿verdad? Yesterday. Uh -huh. Puede decir también, por ejemplo, lo que sucedió. En el sentido de que, imagínense que hubo un apagón, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos poner since the power cut. Ok. Since the power cut. Desde el apagón. Ok. Desde que se fue la luz. Sí. Since the power cut. All right. Y ahí le van a preguntar. Va, esos que ustedes dijeron ahorita. A ver. Necesito que me dicten y me describan la naturaleza del problema. Can you describe the problem with your computer? Los que ustedes describieron en su eh, breakout room. A ver. La, uh, uh -huh. My computer. Ajá, uh -huh. los que hicieron de computadora. My computer. Is very slow. Is very slow. Ajá. Uh -huh. Frozen screen. Y, okay. Uh, frozen screen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, ya no, decirle. My computer it doesn't turn on. It doesn't turn on. All right, that's good. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. It doesn't turn on all right there you are so mm -hmm. what is the possible solution for this what is the possible solution okay el que esté eh, resolviendo esta situación y está llenando el formulario por la persona que lo está solicitando puede repair the computer reprogram the computer Check the computer, reset the computer, fix. Fix es muy similar a repair, ¿ok? Muchas veces se usa indistintamente. Fix and repair son sinónimos, ¿ok? Synonyms, synonyms. Update the computer, así como le dije ahora a, a Flor. Update, zoom, ¿ok? Replace. It doesn't work anymore, so I have to give you a new one. Okay, configure, configure, uh, renew. Okay, just the screen doesn't work, so I have to replace the piece. Okay, so I will say I will renew your computer. Reboot, reboot is almost the same as reset. Okay, reset and reboot. Uh, bueno, reset es desde el inicio. And reboot 
es apagarlo y encenderlo, ¿ok? To reboot. Now, reinstall. Disconnect and connect. Yeah, when you reboot. Yeah, disconnect and connect. Very good. Mm -hmm. Eso sería plug, plug, and unplug. Okay, ese sería el connect and disconnect. Plug a la, a la, a la corriente eléctrica, ¿verdad? Uh, plug and unplug. All right, plug and unplug. And reinstall. Reinstall means to uh, uh, reset all the programs and then you have to reinstall with the drivers and all that you need, right? Over there in your computer. All right, are we okay so far? Is como reiniciar, teacher. Uh, reboot and reset, yes. Reboot and reset. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. So I will say that could and can, right? Could, formal, can, informal. Informal is casual, all right? For example, could you fix the computer today, right? Can I reset my password, all right? Can you reprogram the printer? Could, he, could she restart the application, all right? Can, uh, can we replace the photocopier, all right? So this is the way to a uh, structure our requests, formal requests, informal requests, ¿ok? Dependiendo a quién usted le va a hacer la solicitud, así va a hablar. Could, a mi jefe o a alguien con autoridad mayor que yo, ¿sí? A mi mamá, por ejemplo, le hablaría con could. A mi esposo, yo le hablaría con could, con mucho respeto, ¿ok? Can, incluso a mi esposo, ¿verdad? Incluso a mis hijos, right? A mis amigos, my friends, my family, and closest friends. Pero también cuando yo voy a algún lugar, alguna tienda, por ejemplo, donde la niña Mercedita, de ahí enfrente, uh, in front of my house, there is a convenience store okay a convenience store and i can go over there and can i have a churro please right uh can i have a bag of rinso please right that's casual that's casual voy a helado sarita por ejemplo okay to the um, uh ice cream parlor i go and say for example can i have a chocolate ice cream please okay those are casual Casual requests, all right? Are we okay so far? We are yeah. going to practice this on Monday. Monday is the last day of class and it's the review, all right? Nadie tiene permiso de faltar. There is no way that you miss the last class because we have to fill the uh, satisfaction survey and you have to be present. Ok, es un eh, requisito, ¿verdad? De enviarlo ese mismo día y no queremos que usted tenga situaciones posteriores en que como no lo envió, no le llaman, no le envían convocatoria, ¿verdad? Y lo dejan fuera del programa. Entonces necesitamos que todos estén presentes el día lunes, que nadie vaya a faltar, que se pongan bien bonitos, que vengan bien planchaditos, no tampoco, ¿verdad? Pero, o sea, es el último día de clase, ¿sí? Es el último día de clase donde vamos a tomarnos la foto de graduación, ¿verdad? <laughs> All right, people. So, it's time to go. So, allow me just to call the roll and remember that there is the opportunity of the last, well, not the last, last by one session one on one, all right? So, Adriana Elisa Chavez Lopez? Present. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez Arevalo? Present. Flor de Maria Valladares de Torres? 
Present teacher. Francisco Javier Quintero Echeverría. Gerson Osvaldo Dera Santana. Present teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo de Sura. Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Present teacher. Karen Gemina Membreño. Present teacher. Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos. Present. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda Díaz. Present. María Fernanda Morán Rivas. Present. Merari Andrea Sánchez Facundo. Present. Salomón Heriberto Rivera Chacón. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Girón. Present. Y, thank you. Um, Walter Amilca Ramírez Molina. Wendy Sofía Orellana Calderón. Present coach. Wendy Janet Baires Rojas. Present teacher. Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. Present. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, ¿Nadie ha tenido problema con la plataforma? No, ningún problema. No. Do you want to report a problem with the platform? No. Ok, voy a preguntar. Wendy Janet, ¿ha tenido problemas con la plataforma? Fíjese que a veces tengo problemas, pero a veces para iniciar sesión nada más. La contraseña ya me la reinicié como tres veces. Vaya, pero necesito que eh, me envíe las, las tareas. Probablemente las ha hecho y no le ha dado submit, no le ha dado enviar. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Ajá, porque me aparece en blanco todo. Entonces necesito que por uh -huh. favor eh, les dé submit a todas las tareas. All right. Eh, okay. También quiero ver, tenemos a alguien más que... Dice sí, yo hoy, este, hoy el, mañana sábado me voy a poner al día, espero terminar todo hasta el examen. Sí, ok, que, please, please, please Yolanda. Bueno, sí. sí. Sí, se, se oye por ahí que tiene bastantes ocupaciones con sus chicos. A ver, vamos a ver. Um, me faltaba alguien de decir y no recuerdo ahorita quién, fíjense. No recuerdo, pero tenía un problemita por ahí. Ahí me estaré contactando por el email al que me faltó, ¿ok? Bien, eh, no vayan a faltar, se los digo por última vez, por favor, no falten el día lunes, ¿ok? Para no, que teacher. nadie quede llorando después. All right, then, ¿quién se quiere quedar a la sesión? El lunes me voy a quedar, teacher. Va, ok. <ríe> para la fiesta, nada más, para comer pizza. <ríe> Ok, ya hay que pedir las pupusas, pedidos ya. Ajá. <ríe> Ajá, nadie se quiere quedar el día de hoy. For the record, I'm inviting you guys. I'm giving the opportunity to stay with me and solve your dots. Questions, dots, comments, no? All right, everybody, have a very good night and a very good weekend, a lovely weekend. Have, enjoy. Have a very good time with your family. Bye bye. Have a good bye weekend. Bye. Okay. Thank Happy you. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Thank you, weekend. you too. Thank you. <laughs> good night. Goodbye, Mr. Walter. Goodbye, Merari.